There has been a whole lot of talk about Florida's affordable housing crisis, but tonight there is some staggering new evidence that shows just how dire the situation has become. A new national study shows people who make minimum wage would have to work 100 hours a week just to afford a house here. News Channel 8's Marilyn Parker joins us live from St. Petersburg in Maryland. The plan to redevelop the gas plant district and build a new raised stadium is concerning for those who want affordable housing. Yes, but we know that affordable housing is a part of that plan, and those developers say that they want it to be economically friendly. Now, we showed this study to a few people today. They say, look, there's new developments everywhere, and right now, they don't want a new stadium. They say what they want is to be able to afford a place to live. You take a city wanting to bring in a massive project with some people who say they can't afford to live the way it is now. Nobody wants that. We have one already. People want housing. There's a multitude of data that we don't need to be putting money into a new stadium. We need to be putting money into housing. William Kilgore has been fighting the new raised stadium and advocates for more affordable housing. There are some people who do want to see the project and its plans to bring in 1,250 affordable housing units with the hope that it stays rent friendly. A new study by the National Low Income Housing Commission says people who work minimum wage in Florida would have to work nearly 100 hours a week to afford a one bedroom house here. That sounds about right. Uh, between the two of us, we work about, what, six jobs, three jobs a piece. I already work my max hours. If I get another job on top of school, I'm dead. Hearing their stories and knowing the city's plans to bring in more affordable housing, some say it's still not enough. It's absolutely ridiculous when we have a housing crisis of that magnitude. You're just giving a big handout to these corporations. We think it's egregious. Now, there are people who do want to see the redevelopment and new stadium. We reached out to the St. Petersburg Housing Authority tonight. They were not able to accommodate us with an interview tonight, but they say they are available tomorrow. We're live in St. Pete tonight. Marilyn Parker, 8 on your side.